Super Adobe technology is a type of building method that utilizes the earth beneath our feet as the main element for construction. Bo Bakongis, an environmentalist, started to introduce Super Adobe earthen domes to make housing structures in the country more adaptable to climate change. This project was conceived by my friend and I, um, Ipat Luna, who owns this place, Kapuso Tree House. And we wanted to promote sustainable forms of housing. And we've been environmentalists for a long time. Um, we decided maybe it was time to push this kind of architecture to the Filipinos, um, especially now in the age of climate change, where we're facing typhoons and other extreme weather events. We have earthquakes. These kinds of structures that we are making are, we feel, solutions to these kinds of issues. I went to the U.S. to study permaculture and then it happened that the course that Cal Earth was organizing had a super adobe back-to-back -back workshop. So I took it, not really knowing if I would enjoy it, I would like it, but then when I got there, I was hooked. And then I even went back to take another course and take the long-term apprenticeship course because I really believe that this is something that we can, as Filipinos, use for um, better housing, more sustainable housing. If you look at the kind of shelters now, especially after Yolanda, you will see that most of the houses are a little bit flimsy. They are blown away one typhoon later because domes are very stable in terms of its geometry. We wanted to promote it all around the world so that this kind of architecture becomes more mainstream. This Super Adobe Dome will also be part of Kapuso Tree House's Airbnb space to be a model of a new kind of housing that will be accessible to the Filipino public. We use earth as the main material. So what's under your feet is the one that we use for building. In a Super Adobe workshop, participants are taught how to determine whether their soil is good for building and if it's not, how to make an acceptable material for construction. Organic matter like leaves, root, and other substances that might decompose and weaken the soil are removed. We place it in bags called earth bags or rice sacks. Polypropylene woven bags, more commonly used as rice sacks, are used to build these earthen domes because these bags are what we usually find in emergency situations. This is the idea behind building this kind of shelter. And then barbed wire is used to provide the tensile strength of the building. We put plaster over it. Your walls become breathable. Then if you plaster over it with lime or clay, which means water vapor can pass through the walls, and that helps regulate the temperatures inside your house. Alongside Bo is Brandon Evans, an instructor also from Cal Earth, who has been part of many earthen dome constructions of different sizes in different parts of the world. His forte lies in the technical aspect of building. So we choose to build in a dome shape, uh, I see particularly like a lancet shape, which is a more pointed dome, uh, because the geometry of it allows the, the forces of gravity to Instead of pull it apart like it would with a traditional home, it actually works making it stronger because it's pulling it down into the ground more balanced and even. Um, and also any kind of energy that hits it from the sides, like an earthquake or strong winds, typhoon waves, um, it, it allows it to uh, really diffuse the energy around the building instead of it hitting a solid flat wall, in which case all the energy would hit it at once. A 10-foot diameter dome like this can be finished by around 10 people in only five days. You don't need a lot of money to be able to build an earthen um, structure because what's under your feet is what you will use to build your house. I think one good thing about it too, especially for Filipinos, is that it builds the um, Bayanihan spirit. Like in an emergency situation, for example, in a disaster area, um, you will have people that are not doing anything. They can help build their own houses. You know, this is something that could bring people together. I think for the people who are participating in this project, 
There's so much positive vibe about it because they know that they don't have to rely on others to be able to build for themselves. There's so much enthusiasm in, in how we're working. I think people should try to open their minds to the kind of more environment-friendly, more sustainable kind of materials that our Earth offers. And look at what is around them and see um, what is available for them to use in any activity that they do, including housing. So Earth architecture is just one aspect of trying to help heal the planet by not using so much energy intensive or material intensive or extractive um, activities. Considering the benefits of building using super adobe technology, it would be interesting to see this kind of architecture in everyday urban structures as well. It will be um, challenging, but it's not impossible. I haven't heard about it here, but um, in other places I've seen some people build in urban areas. Earth architecture is a very simple kind of building. This is the kind of architecture that is accessible to unskilled people, ordinary people, will be able to build their own homes by just having earth, a bag, and um, some barbed wire. I want to be able to teach as many people as I can so that they themselves can teach others and build their own communities with more sustainable material, more climate resilient housing, more typhoon proof, earthquake proof houses for themselves.